This is the majestic Mulcair River, home to a wide variety of fish species. The Mulcair catchment drains an area of 650 square kilometers, spanning counties Limerick and Tipperary. The EU-funded Mulcair Life Project has been ongoing since late 2009. In 2014, it's drawing to a close. The project's main objective is to restore and enhance habitat for Atlantic salmon, sea lamprey and the European otter. The key project partners include Inland Fisheries Ireland, Limerick County Council and the Office of Public Works. And then there's a very significant uh, financial partner in the National Parks and Wildlife Service that act as a co-financier of the project. For salmon, this is done through in-stream works, enhancing the complexity of the river and removing barriers to passage for the fish. If we get the physical farm right, the natural ecology will recover and the fish numbers will increase. For sea lamprey, it involves installing tiles on the weirs of the river so that the lamprey can migrate upstream, as well as monitoring and tracking the fish. Their numbers have grown significantly over the past few years. We designed the very first sea lamprey tile that would work in an Irish context. It lowers the velocity of the water coming over the face of the weir and the sea lamprey attach to the base and wiggle their way up. It's as simple as that. The second barrier was at Ballyclock Weir and in the summer of 2013 we removed part of Ballyclock Weir which again facilitated both salmon passage and sea lamprey passage. For otters it involves the installation of artificial holts, carrying out habitat enhancement works, as well as conducting otter surveys throughout the catchment. When we go surveying for otters, what we have to do is look for their signs. And there's two main signs we look for, there's footprints and also then their droppings called sprints. Mulcair Life also undertakes significant riparian management work in cooperation with local farmers to keep riverbanks free from non-native invasive plants, such as giant hogweed, Japanese knotweed, and Himalayan balsam. Uh, we use an environmentally friendly herbicide uh, to spray the invasives. Uh, this herbicide has been approved for use in an aquatic environment. An important part of Mulcair Life's work is to raise public awareness of the importance of rivers and the habitats they support. This work is undertaken through community outreach work in schools as well as holding seminars, training events and local events. As Mulcair Life draws to a close after five years, the positive legacy of the project looks certain to run long into the future. The successes have been immense. The various agencies and communities must now take up the baton to move forward the conservation blueprint established by Mulcair Life to ensure the river continues to flow in all her beauty for future generations to enjoy.